Hey everyone, I understand many dividend stock investors are interested in AT&T because of its very healthy dividend yield. So I thought I'd make a video describing what's going on with AT&T, giving some insights into what's been happening at the company. So let's get right into it. So specifically, and this is according to management, right? This is their latest earnings quarterly conference call where the company's management describes what's been happening. So specifically over the last three years, they've added 8.3 million phone net additions. That is up from fewer than 1 million additions in the prior three years before 2020. So over the last three years compared to the three years before that, the company has done an excellent job of adding phone subscribers and that's the key to its business. The more subscribers, the healthier the company is. So on the postpaid phone churn, they drove an improvement of 28 basis points since the beginning of 2020. And their churn is already less than 1%. So, you know, 28 basis points is a big improvement from an already very low level. People don't net, don't very often cancel their wireless uh, connection or switch very often. And so their customer stickiness is very high. And that's one of the prime selling points of AT&T stock as an investment is they've got millions of these customers that stick around and pay that monthly fee and that's a lucrative business model for AT&T. So another good thing is that AT&T's uh, customer satisfaction it was number one according to American Customer Satisfaction Index. And that's good news because that increases the likelihood that customers are gonna stick around because they're satisfied with AT&T and the service that they're getting. So they're more likely to stick around and there's further evidence of that when you look at their uh, phone churn, their cancellation rate improving in the last three years. Also over the last three years, their ARPU, average revenue per user is up by more than one dollar um, that's a very modest increase uh, in their average revenue per user but it is an increase which is solid to be sure over the past three years we've had more than 3.4 million AT&T Fiverr net ads boosting their subscriber base by nearly 80% In that time, the accretive mix shift to fiber has driven their broadband average revenue per user up by more than $10, which was an increase of 20%. And they have room to increase this as they're still less expensive than their competitors in the market. So they've came in with a lower price point to gain market share and that's working. They've added 3.4 million fiber uh, subscribers so there's room to increase their average revenue per user because they're still significantly lower than their customers. Moving on here. So another uh, prime selling point for AT&T as an investment is a massive cost cutting plan that management has undertaken and that's achieved over six billion in annual savings and now management thinks there's more room they think they can cut another two billion over the next three years. So they've already done a good job of lowering their costs uh, already, and they think they could get two billion lower over the next three years. So the company's certainly doing a good job over the last three years in increasing the number of subscribers, increasing the revenue from fiber, and. But remember, something I, they didn't highlight, of course, is the direct TV divestiture. And so that's kind of brought their overall revenue down because they divested that business. But organically, in the core business, they've done a good job of growing, adding customers, modestly increasing the average revenue per user, and increasing profitability by cutting costs. So management has done a good job of managing the company, becoming more effective, becoming more efficient, and boosting profitability 
in a market that's not growing very rapidly, right? They're not in this growth industry that's adding new customers to the industry in the millions, right? So they've done it more so by increasing effectiveness, increasing efficiency, and boosting profitability in that way. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.